good morning, starting from Imemiya. Just a few minutes to Tobo Dobuts Koen. Changing the train to Minami Kurihashi. This train takes around 10 minutes. This is now the local train to Tochigi. Also in Japan, there are many unavoidable ugly solar panels. This train ride takes around 40 minutes. In Tochigi, I have to change from the Tobu line to Japan Railways. After 15 minutes, the train to Iwafune arrives. This train ride takes only 10 minutes. I have reached Iwafune. From here, my hike will start. Iwafune is located a little bit less than 100 kilometers north of Tokyo. Here I start my hike back to Tochigi. The hike is about 17 kilometers long and I plan to see many interesting places. Right here at the beginning should be the stone museum, but everything looks quite deserted. Indeed, this is the entry of the stone museum and it says it's for free. Quite run down a place. Some stones and some old photos. It seems to be okay to go up to the second floor. Old tools. Iwafune was famous for quarries and stone production in the past. Moving on, I will put now my mask away, which is kind of 100% mandatory in Japan. It looks like it may get warm today. I planned this tour using Google Maps. Let's see whether this was a good idea or not. There are really nice houses and gardens. Passing the former Iwafune Fire Watch Tower. Let's see what's in there. Some historic Firefighting equipment. Moving on. Kamisama. Here I have to go left to a temple area. The temples are on top of a small mountain. This big rock I think is part of the Iwafune mountain. Partially the way is a bit steep. After some difficult weeks, I'm happy to be out again in the nature.
nice view. I am reaching the Koshoji temple area. Before visiting the temples, I have a view of the landscape. It's a bit hazy. Now let's have a look at the three-storied pagoda up there. The three-storied pagoda at the Koshoji temple. I love these little wonderful bamboo forests, Hayashi. A few steps back and opposite to the Koshoji temple, you can go up to another temple. I think it's called Place of the Cairns but I'm not 100% sure. I think this is the place to remember the unborn babies. A very sad place. This is the gate of the Koshoji temple. Next to the Buddha are the stairs to the main temple. In front, there is the main temple. And this is the bell tower. The main temple. And another look at the bell tower. leaving the temple area. Going down the little mountain the same way I came. As already said before, solar panels are built everywhere. I'm already behind my schedule and have to hurry. I'm now down the little mountain and on a new road. My next goal is the Vashi Shrine. It's not middle of January yet, but trees are already blossoming. Looking back at the mountain with the temples I've just been on. Passing a little lake with many fishermen. I think they don't catch much, but they want to get away from their wives for a while. And just a few steps further, there is the Vashinosu Jinja. This is the Vashinosu Jinja. Moving on. Japan is a very clean country, but I'm not sure what has happened here. Now I have to walk for a while along the very busy Budo Dori. I don't like it. Budo means grapes, and next I will be arriving at a valley with many vineyards. This is a valley of wine yards. Not much to see now, but it must be nice to come here in summer. I can walk away from the Budo Dori for a while. Passing the Yaku Shido Shrine. By the way, they are not producing any wine here, they are just growing grapes. 
This is the Hachimango Shrine. A few steps away, there's a really old and broken house. Now I'm back for a while on the Budo Dori. I don't like it, but it's not that far. This is how the grape fields look like in winter. Everywhere here are closed grape shops. Now I have left the Budo Dori and I'm walking towards the mountains. I don't know the name, but very beautiful blossoms. I had lost my way, but a lady showed me the right path again. And here is a sign to the next temple. A nice pond, and in summer there are surely many water lilies. Now it shouldn't be far anymore. This is the Seizuji Temple. Up a small road above the Senzuji Temple, there is the Ju Ichimen Senju Kanon. A few steps further, there is the Kaeruishi, the frog rock. For me, it's hard to recognize a frog. Maybe up there, there are the ears and the eyes of a frog. And again, there are a lot of such beautiful trees. Now, for quite a while along this road, I'm far behind my schedule and I have to speed up. Luckily, here are nearly no cars. I have been walking here now for quite a while, but I haven't seen any person. Through a small village. This is the entrance to the Daijuji temple. This is the gate. This is the temple area. With this being the main temple. Not sure what this is, but it has an historic roof. Lots of red berries. Really beautiful. Moving on. Now Google thinks I should go up there. Not sure if this is the right way. A number of historic stones on the way up. A bit steep and not really good to walk. This is not a bad way. This is no way, I think. Fighting myself through the forest, I have found this path. I got more than what I bargained for.
I hope I will be up there soon. I've reached a shop here on the top. It's called Azumaya. This is the view from in front of the shop. And up here should be the official viewing point called 100. Yes, this is the official rest and viewing point. Nice view. It's only 2.30, but already quite dark. Giving myself some Calypso. Moving on, and no time to have lunch. Up there should be the Uhira Sun Shrine. Again, a little bit further than I expected. Quite a lot of stairs. This is the Uhira-san Jinja. This is the main shrine. Besides the main shrine, there are a lot of other shrines here. This is the view from up here. Also a little bit hazy. And over there, a few steps further, there should be another viewing point. These are restaurants and I regret that I have no time to eat something. From here, one has a marvelous view of Tochigi town. And now I'm going down towards Tuchigi town. It's still quite some way to walk. Passing the Koke Daishi statue. And further down. Here is no internet, so I'm not sure if I'm on the right track. The road forked. I hope I chose the right one. I start to feel my knees. At the entrance of Tochigi there is a temple. Beautiful. Opposite the temple is the Kokogakuin Tochigi University. It's now 3.10 and I hope I will be able to reach the train at shortly before 4 at Tochigi station. Passing another beautiful temple. This temple building looks relatively new. Tochigi is quite a big town. A telephone booth. Very rare in our times. A big tori at the bridge crossing the Nagano River. The Nagano River seems to be a construction site. Not much water. But there hasn't also not been much rain in the last few weeks. Really nice trees. In Japan there are many pedestrian overpasses. I don't like them because of the many stairs. I've waddled and I need to hurry. I have to run. 
This is the Tochigi train station. To reach my train will be a matter of seconds. I really made it. Goodbye Tochigi. With changing trains in Minami Kurihashi, I will be home in a little bit more than one hour. I'm saying goodbye and wish you all the best.